Hey sis. All right, so today I wanna get real and talk to you about a few truths when it comes to finding a target audience. All right, so if you're just starting out and you haven't really had a ton of sales yet, you have a unique opportunity to kind of find your audience as you go. Of course, you start with a pretty solid idea at first, but I can't tell you how many times I've seen people have an idea in their head about who their target audience should be. And then once they really hit the market and start selling stuff, it ended up being someone completely different. So once you start digital advertising, you can look at different audiences and really start to narrow down who in the hell it is that really likes your stuff. You gotta develop a perfect balance between being specific about who you market to, but being flexible if the market decides for you and it's not originally who you wanted it to be. All right, so here's an example. You may have thought your men's hemp-based tan cream would be a big hit with a younger male audience. Maybe you had some big macho branding in your mind with some navy blue and some cowboy hats and a lawnmower. That was sexist, okay, my bad. The truth is that it's women who statistically make the decisions about bath and body products that are brought into a home. Consider the fact that she would be a better choice for a primary target audience. Aha. Our goal here is to make money. So yes, definitely narrow in on that target audience like me and every other digital marketer advises you to do. But just keep in mind that in the beginning, it's going to be a bit more of an organic journey. Dang it. Another part about finding a target audience that no one really talks about is the fact that once you start uncovering some trends within your audience, your audience should start dictating what type of messaging you put out there. Maybe you're a hairstylist and you discover that you're both passionate about and good at putting in full weeks. It's not something that runs cheap, so as your businesses grow, you learn that African-American college-educated entrepreneurs tend to get weaves more because they can afford it for one because it helps them protect their hair while they're on the go. With that in mind, you always marketed to that. But you decided you wanted to start doing some digital marketing to make a bigger name for yourself. And you find that drag queens are loving some of your styles and techniques and that they are your biggest fans online. You've just opened up the door to an entirely new audience. I'll end this by saying narrowing in on a target audience is the most important thing you can do for your business. But don't feel married to one segment. You definitely can't cater to everybody, but you can open up doors to audiences that you never thought you'd be exposed to before. My next video will cover step three in my six step framework for building a bomb ass brand. Why and how to make a value statement. Because if you don't know why you're dope and how you can help, how should anybody else? Don't forget to subscribe.